When railways were taking root in Scotland in the late 1800s, the Highlands were a particularly problematic place to lay rails due to the geography of the area. Many tunnels had to be dug through hills and mountains, embankments had to be raised, and great cuttings had to be dug to ensure the track bed was level enough for the locomotives to run efficiently. In parts where the line had to cross over valleys, viaducts were built. Many of these are rather scenic, but there's one in particular with a very unique addition. Most viaducts were built from brick and stone, usually dug out from nearby quarries or repurposed rubble from tunnels and cuttings. Some, however, were completely cast from concrete, such as the Glenfinnan Viaduct in Scotland. This was because the stone in the area was notoriously hard and difficult to work with, and Robert McAlpine, the head engineer, was famous for pioneering the use of concrete in larger structures, and decided it would be a more effective material to build with. A large wooden cast was built and then filled with tons of concrete. Once it hardened, the wooden casing was removed, leaving the complete viaduct behind. If you look closely, you can still see the imprints of the wood used to make the casts to this day. Another viaduct was constructed in Loch Nan Uv using concrete and a similar method. This viaduct is unique, however, compared to any other viaduct in the UK, as it serves another purpose aside from simply being a bridge. It's also a giant concrete tomb. During its construction, horses and carts were used to move the vast amounts of material needed to produce the concrete required to build it. A story told was that one day, while building the large centre pillar, a horse fell into the pit of wet concrete. Due to the height of the fall and the depth of the concrete, the horse could not be saved and ended up getting stuck in the concrete once it had hardened. As they couldn't get it out, workers simply left the horse in the mould and kept filling it, covering over the dead animal and cementing it forever in the viaduct. Years later, the story changed with most people saying the horse had fell into Glenfinnan Viaduct, the one famous for appearing in the Harry Potter films. Other changes to the story said that a horse, cart, and a man fell into the concrete, while others simply said it was just the horse. In 1987, a man from Harriet Watt University investigated the Glenfinnan Viaduct to see if it was true as the arches were too narrow to possibly contain the rumoured horse. He drilled several small holes into the concrete that was thick enough to contain a horse and fed a fisheye camera into it, finding nothing. Ten years later, in 1997, the man heard from local hearsay that it was the Loch Nan Uv viaduct that contained the entombed horse, not Glenfinnan. As such, he investigated again, still finding nothing when drilling into the concrete and inserting a fisheye camera. Finally, in 2001, he returned to the viaduct with radar equipment and scanned the large centre column. The scan showed the column contained the remains of a horse and cart, proving the original story true. A plaque was fixed to the centre pillar of the viaduct in 2008 to mark the discovery of the horse. It's not a well-known story, being little more than a local legend, but it's still interesting nonetheless. The misconception about it being located in Glenfinnan likely comes from the fact that both viaducts were cast in concrete, and Glenfinnan's popularity thanks to various films and media depictions. So next time you hear of a local legend, try and do a little bit of digging, because it might just turn out to be true. Subscribe for more.